Hey, John here. So let's say you got this vector like we do up here, and it's got five elements in there. All right, so we created it, five elements. They all have the value of 32. Let's say I want to print out the contents of this vector. All right, well, you know, you're a good programmer, so you know, use a range-based for loop like this and just print them all out. Okay, that's great. But let's say either A, you don't know how to use a range-based for loop, or B, you're doing something else, or counting by two, or doing something else with this uh, 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 vector, or some other object that has a notion of a size, okay? And you think, well, I'm going to put together a for loop like this. So I'm going to just go from zero to however much and, and, and print them out that way. You know, in this case, I would just... Use the angle bracket, or you know, the the the, the square brackets like this, or the at member uh, function, or something like that, right? Okay, so you're gonna go along, you go to compile your program. Uh oh, comparison of illegal uh, of integer expressions of different signedness. All right, so this is just one example of how this crops up. All right, this oftentimes shows up if you're using size of and things like that, and the reason is because vi.size is an unsigned integer type and int is a signed integer type all right so the naive way to solve this problem would be to just make that unsigned and now it'll work fine right well okay provided that your size never exceeds the capacity of this integer over here which could be significantly smaller and more limiting than however many elements could actually fit in, in this particular case, this vector, all right? Now, there are a couple of ways to solve this thing. One is to use a size T, which is a C uh, language uh, uh, macro that defines a type that can hold the largest unsigned integer needed to refer to any number of bytes in the whole machine. It's essentially how big is an address pointer in your current architecture. If we compile it this way, sure, it works. Let's go ahead and run it. And that's going to be however big it needs to be to point anywhere. But we're not really dealing with a pointer in this particular case, okay? Now, it turns out that the vector class itself has a member called size type which, if you look up inside, it really is just a size T. And it's big and ugly, and it looks like this, okay? This is technically the correct way to define a variable that could be used to hold the size of a vector, and it could be used in a comparison like this, right? All right, so there's a couple of ways to fix this problem. You run into a warning like that, and of course you run into them because you've got wall set on the compiler and or pedantic and W extra and things like that, right? So if you ever run into this in your program, this is different ways to solve it. The technically proper way to do it would be like this, okay? And yes, of course, in this trivial example, you could just eliminate the problem altogether like I showed you up here. However, this is not always the case when you have these, you know, uh, signed versus unsigned integer type comparisons. Um, very often, I per personally just make my such things this, okay? If I'm going to use a vector, I would do it right. But if you're using things like, you know, a size of calculations and stuff like that, you, then you don't have, uh, you know, it's, it, it may not be part of a vector. It could be part of a C array or something like that, in which case you want to use a size T, okay? And if you really don't know what you're doing and you don't care, just make sure it's unsigned integer and then it will go away as well, all right? But you want to use a size T or a size type, okay? Thanks for watching. See you later.